Hey guys, I wanted to make a video to show you a circuit I built that will allow you to take an ohm level from a fuel sending unit and convert it into a voltage level that you can use to input into your uh, standalone ECM such as uh, Mega Squirt, uh, Holly Terminator X, Holly Terminator uh, Fuel Tech, or any other uh, ECM it allows you to input a 0 to 5 volt input for whatever reasons. There's lots of different things you can do with those. Uh, what this is is based off a voltage divider circuit. And what that circuit does is takes a uh, 5 volt signal and through the resistance of a, of a uh, fixed resistor and the resistance of the variable resistor of the sending unit it changes the voltage to uh, to match so to speak uh, there's a lot more complicated ways to, to state it I'm sure uh, it whatever your ohm range changes the volt range changes that's the simple logistics of it so what I started with it I started with a 5 volt uh, power supply well, what this is is it's just a cheap 5 volt power supply you can find them online that, in, that takes a input voltage of 0 to 15 volts, which would be the voltage of your your car. Uh, and I say 0 to 15, it's probably more accurately in the 12 to 15 range, just depending on what your alternator is putting out or whatever. But it takes that voltage and puts out a steady 5 volts. So if you have 12 volts because your alternator is not running, it's putting out 5 volts. If you have 15 volts because your alternator is overcharging, it's still putting out 5 volts. So using that 5 volts in a, a series of resistors, uh, a fixed resistor and a variable resistor of the sending unit, I'm able to get a voltage output that I can then send to my ECM uh, to be used as a digital gauge for my digital dash so as you can see here I have it marked full and empty this is an old sending unit out of a Chevrolet pickup truck uh, it's just a spare that I have and it's actually a 40 to 240 ohm sending unit uh, Chevrolet made a few others I think uh, depending on the year of the vehicle my 70 Camaro has a 0 to 90 ohm sending unit and the resistance values of the resistor within the circuitry would change based off of what sending unit you have. And you can do some calculations online or uh, if you're good with math or just whatever and figure out what that resistor needs to be. So <clears throat> back to this thing. So anyways, you can see on the sending unit I have a marked full and empty. Well, at full, I have a reading of 4.31 volts. 4.30 let's just say that and as that drops meaning your fuel level drops you can see that voltage changes you sweep through the full range of the uh, sending unit the lowest level is 2.29 now you can play with the resistor values to get different resolution uh, of the voltage say if you wanted less voltage say if you wanted to do a full volt a full amount of four volts and then an empty amount of three volts you know you, you can play with the the values of the resistors to to get that i wanted a more broad resolution and with the 40 to 240 ohm uh sending unit this is probably the best i could get without just spending a ton of time on it so I have two volts of variance between full and between empty. So what I would do is I would take those two values, 4.31 being full, 2.29 being empty, and I would put them into Tuner Studio and create a gauge using those values. 2.29 would be 0% on the gauge, 4.30 would be 100% on the gauge, and then the software doing its thing can interpolate in between whether you know let's uh, see around 3.8 I guess is about half a tank and then quarter tank just whatever 
So doing so, just based off that voltage range, it can give me a fuel level that I didn't have before. So in other words, uh, when I did the digital dashes on my vehicles, the old uh, gauge clusters, they came out. So anyways, quick, easy. If you need any help or maybe if you want one of these built, just drop me a comment. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share videos and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.